Welcome back. The fear and uncertainty that surrounds the COVID-19 pandemic has opened the door to scammers and fraudsters who are cashing in, stealing millions of our dollars. News Times Patrick Nelson has been tracking this from the start. He's working with a financial crimes expert to keep us safe. As we work to rebound from the isolation and financial impact of COVID-19, the last thing you need is someone making your life more difficult. Unfortunately, coronavirus scams are on the rise, which means people are taking the bait, losing sensitive information, and having their bank accounts drained. Take a look at these official Federal Trade Commission numbers. Through the month of May, more than 60,000 complaints and losses tallying more than $44 million nationwide. It's evidence fraudsters are ramping up their attacks. That's a $40 million increase in losses since the Fed started coronavirus scam tracking back in March. This is, you know, what I call the, uh, the tsunami, the perfect storm. J. Michael Skiba, also known as Dr. Fraud, is working with News 5 to track these scams and to understand why we are all at risk. At the end of the day, there is just such a commonality with all of us at this specific moment. That, that we're all, we all could be targets. One of the ways people have continued to access health care during the pandemic has been through the use of telemedicine and virtual visits. Since it's a relatively new service, sly fraudsters are stealing from both doctors and patients. They will get that doctor's personal information through maybe through the web or data or, or, or some form. And what they'll do actually is they'll write a, a fake prescription with a fake patient send in the bill. Enough people have now been targeted by these types of schemes. Dr. Fraud says it's important to ask questions and be aware. Most people have, have never been on a telemed call, so they might not know that that's out of the ordinary to ask for a co-payment up front. The experts say there's a good chance cyber criminals are already making a fortune off of us without us even knowing. As millions are out of work and struggling because of COVID-19, the crooks are working to gain access to our personal information and it's making them rich. Let's say they get a name, address, date of birth uh, on you. I mean, they can they can sell that on the black market for, you know, three, five hundred dollars per se. And there, there's a scale. Tonight at 10, we lay out a full list of coronavirus scams and how they work, including why downloading a COVID-19 smartphone app could give cyber criminals full access to your phone and the information in it. It's a warning you do not want to miss that information, plus ways to report coronavirus scams already available right now on our website, koaa.com. Always watching out for you. Patrick Nelson, News 5.